we've heard so many people talk about the gesture she made to everyone, not just heads of state, not just dignitaries, but to, to regular people, to, to everyone who met her, or came by her in their path of life. They talked about her warmth and her generosity. And, and the people who came out, these former staffers, we're talking about chefs. Um, we're talking about police officers. We're talking about just the folks who helped make her life easier, run smoothly, all of those years. They've all come out. They're all dressed in black. It's going to be a powerful image to see her coffin pass by them because they've been standing as, for quite some time now waiting for this moment right now here in front of Buckingham Palace. And you all, you, you, we spoke as well about just the impact uh, she has had and uh, certainly what she means to the folks in London but it was, and, and all over the UK, but it was, it was something to hear from an American here who was lined up in one of the rainy days for hours uh, just to see the coffin to pass by and in fact said, and look, to, no offense to any American politician, mm -hmm. said there is not an American politician or a president I would go stand in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of, but here I am for your queen, for you all's queen, I will do it here. And that, um, it really spoke to me when she when she said that. So she's making her way, and again, you all, I was so struck, I've been talking to you all about it, and mm. we were here when she arrived, back in her home um, capital here. Uh, we were here when she went into the palace for the last time. We were here when she came out of the palace for the last time, and to think that this woman, who spent, guys, part of her childhood, she, spent, she since she was a kid, 10 years old, she grew up at Buckingham Palace, and then to have a reign, and this be a residence of hers for 70 years, and to think these two icons now, this will be it. it will be the last time we we'll ever get a chance to see uh, these two together. It's, it's, it's really a striking moment that everybody here now suddenly quietly is able to take in. And it has been remarkable to hear, and I know we've been saying this, and anyone who's been watching this procession and throughout the entire morning, to, to see this many people gathered in one place and to hear nothing but silence, and now, of course, to hear the beautiful music as the Queen's casket makes its way to Buckingham Palace. It is quite remarkable. The music's getting louder and we're hearing the orders from the guard, all the guards around the coffin here. And again, nothing but silence. We see children on top of their parents next. Everyone with their phones out taking in this history right here. And a reminder here that the folks who are here at uh, Buckingham Palace, they have been I mean, they, they haven't had a lot to see. They, they were able to, to hear the ceremony. They did have um, the loudspeakers here and the funeral was broadcast, the audio of it, but they haven't been able to see necessarily much of what's been happening in other parts of London, unless possibly on their phones. But uh, for the most part, this is the moment they have been waiting for. And for a lot of folks who maybe didn't get a chance to go get in the queue, uh, who didn't get a chance to wait those uh, 10, 12, 14, 15, 24 hours in line, weren't able to do it. This was so important for them to be able to do, to come out and stand on the street and just get the moment, just a moment. And they're sharing it with folks from all over the world here. This was the moment they have all been, been waiting for. And again, I, I keep going back to it, Rob. I, I just can't, I can't say it enough and think, <laughs> look, we, we talked to you all as well. We, we had a surprising moment that, that the king passed right by us um, just the other day. And you you can't help but get wrapped up in the monarchy, if you will, to a certain degree. We don't have anything like this, but to, but to, but to see this, this history, and I think we're talking about a woman here who, um, David, you've been talking about it. She was always above it, right? We're used to heads of state being um, this or that, having a stance here or there, being polarizing to some degree. It, she represented a whole lot of history, but I think that is one thing that, um, that has really struck us here over the past several days that we've talked to the people here as we've seen more and more people come here to london you can't even move up through the streets of london over the past couple of days no. with the numbers of people who have been here and what's interesting i actually feel my heart beating quicker watching this and and seeing this incredible show of love and support but done with such precision i mean the amount of work and practice that went into this the planning that went into this that of course the queen herself uh had her part in to see it all come together in this moment is quite remarkable and as we were making our way here to buckingham palace uh, it was pitch black and there were so many people trying to get to these positions as well but it was interesting because yes we've talked about the somberness and the quiet but there was celebratory feeling about it as well. People were excited as they were trying to get into line, trying to get their place to witness history unfold, to pay their 
final respects to this woman that they admired and loved and, and got up early for and, and traveled to London in some cases for. And it, it's an interesting combination that we've been witnessing over the past few days where there is this this sorrow and this sadness. We've seen people wiping tears. We've seen people bringing flowers and, and paying their respects. But also, there is a real sense of celebrating this incredible monarch, the longest reigning monarch in British history, 70 years. She gave so much of her life, her entire life, to the United Kingdom. And, and we've heard all of the stories of people talking about not minding waiting in line oh my goodness, yes. because they say it's the least I can do. I can give her a few hours. She gave us her life. And so there is a real sense of respect, but celebration, celebrating a woman like none other. I think most people will say there will be none other like her to come. There, there was only one Queen Elizabeth II, and it's remarkable to see this city pay their final respects to her right now.